Yo, we're at Broken Complex Studios. Today is a dope day. The vinyl for In Due Time, my new album with Khan, has arrived. We're gonna be busting those out, signing all the pre-orders for all the fans that ordered it early. So stay tuned. Good. We got Khan at the studio. We got Aiden shooting all that behind the scenes. Got the box, got some fucking markers. Take this to the studio. Yeah, I literally just, I literally just Swiffer not too long ago. Signing these. Here they are. Ta da! There they are. That's crazy. Yeah, they look tight. Yeah, this looks sick. You might want to test this on the cardboard before. Uh, so these things you gotta activate before the ink comes out. Yeah, it's coming. Personal touch, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, we, we ride for the fans. You know, if they fuck with us. This is kind of tight because the ink flew out. Hard. Fire. Yeah, they were made at the same, like both of the albums were made at the same time. So the last album and this album were made at the same time. Shit, we had like, we had like 25, 30 songs pretty quick. I like status symbol. Like the way it builds up, it starts kind of bare and then it gets into the crazy shit. I'm not sure going to be a succession just because it's, it's a little different. Yeah, it is. It's a switch up from the norm. Yeah. Like BAM! Emerald Lagasse. It is like that, yeah. Exactly like fucking Emerald Lagasse, dude. I was kind of lit. I wasn't even really doing it on purpose. Oh, uh, well, that one I did. For most of these, I signed over my head. Didn't even notice it. Muscle memory. Yo, we just we just got together and smoked some weed and cooked up. That's really it. We just smoked some weed. I was making beats. Yeah. Writing raps. It's like super simple shit, you know? It's the weed and the motivation, man. Did you get robbed fest? That was robbed fest. It was crazy. It was packed. It looked like the people were out there. What was your favorite piece of equipment you were using throughout the creation of this album? Every beat for this album was started on the SP404. This little thing right here? Yeah. It's a fun little fucking sketch pad, man, for sure. Uh, the weed tray right behind you. The most rewarding part? Uh, just staying creative, man, you know? It's just a free flowing process, you know? It's just the ability to consistently create, man. That's it. That's the best part. What are you selling bottles of this shit? A crazy studio moment? I don't know. It's pretty stable. Yeah, we were, probably, <laughs> we were pretty high the whole time. So. <laughs> just cooking up. Yeah, dude. It was just a lot of weed, man. I don't know if that facilitates that kind of moment. We signed a lot of albums here. I think we got enough. How many albums y'all got? 5,000, so people should buy some, because yeah. we definitely overcommitted on this. We overcommitted. <laughs> yeah. Holy so, shit. So buy some. Nah, we gotta pay for storage costs to, yeah. uh, to house 5,000 records. Right? Uh, it's $5,000. I don't know why we picked 5,000, but we did. Please order some. Buy us 5,000 copies. I think like the only one that like warm it up, we tried to do like a Big Daddy Kane song, kind of match that vibe. So that mm -hmm. was really the only one where we were like pressed to stay within the We had intent line. with that one. Yeah. yeah. We've made so many songs and and if we weren't fucking with a beat, then we'd just make a different song. Or if we weren't, if he wasn't fucking with a verse or something, we just made a new song. We, wait, might have been something we we switched a beat for, but we didn't use it. Yeah, things were scrapped, swapped around, yeah. moved around. Keep digging, man. Just keep digging. you find it. Keep fucking digging. Never stop digging. Don't and stop, never believing. stop believing. I think some vocals were done in my house. at Khan's house. The majority, I would say, is tracked here. Like 95% of them tracked here. Yeah. For your signage. That looks like a fucking spray can. Yeah. <laughs> Good my shit will start oh, shit. shooting everywhere and shit. <laughs> you can get the album at brokencomplex.com. It's a one stop shop. You can get the last vinyl, you can get the last project. Going there, saying the leaving the grandeur. Hey, you can get in due time. Hurry up. You're one of these. It's signed. In real life, you have all the evidence. You have all the fucking evidence. Take this show on the road, man. Do some motherfucking shows, shows, man. Get on the road. Bring it to them live. Put all the bass in their fucking face, dude. No other option. It's the only choice we had. We didn't choose to do it. They made us do it. That's it. It's an old DJ trick, man. You get your new record. 
Oh, damn. It's oh, open. The Your shit's still perfectly sealed, you know what I mean? It's signed in vinyl shit, it's no joke, man. Alright, so now I'll shoot you and you'll be like, yo, what's up? It's Khan. My album, DJ Hava, fucking in due time. You wanna do that? Yeah, we do. Or do you want me to be in it too? I thought it was gonna be, yeah, I thought it would be both of us. Why was that always the same? Like it took a three week. Yeah, yeah, why did it always take so fucking long, man? It didn't take that long for me to clock in. Right. I worked at a Quiznos sub for a day. No, they just didn't hire me back. Yeah, like they just didn't have me come back. It was super unofficial. I also worked at a Pizza Hut for one day. I washed the dishes. I thought I was gonna be waiting tables and they had me washing dishes. I was like, ah, oh, there's no way. I just wasn't feeling it. It wasn't my fault. I was like, I'm not about to stay back. Cause the dishes just kept coming, dude. Like, you don't realize like how many dishes oh, are getting used in a pizza place to your back there. Dude. Favorite Disney movie as of right now? Yeah. Oh, we got finesse. I probably would have finesse, but we didn't get finesse. You won't get finesse either. Thanks, Shrek. Yeah, shout out.